Welcome to the virtual college fair for all Virginia students sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from the University of East Anglia. Thank you very much, Anna. I'm just going to get started on my presentation now. Thank you. Yeah, so my name is Graham Wise. I'm an international officer at the University of East Anglia, also known as UEA. Uh, so UEA is a research intensive and an, um, a campus based university based in the UK. Um, we're home to around 16,000 students, of which around 4,000 are international students. So a very multicultural and a very diverse university. I'm not going to bore you with lots of different rankings of how highly we are ranked in the UK and in the world. You can see that here anyway, but just to highlight, we are obviously very well ranked. Um, gold for Teaching Excellence Framework and high in both the UK Times Sunday Times Education Rankings and also the world rankings as well being in the top 200. Um, UEA is a located in the city of Norwich. So Norwich is in the east of the UK. Um, it's less than two hours, think an hour and a half to London by train. Um, it's very close to the coast, so it's about 35, 40 minutes to the closest beach. Um, and it's surrounded by a beautiful countryside, as you probably saw in the photo at the beginning of the presentation. Um, Norwich is very much a blend of the old and the new. They're very much the best of both worlds. So you have your historic castles, cathedrals, and you also have your brand new shopping centres and cinemas as well. Um, great for shopping, one of the top 10 shopping cities in the UK, if that's what you're interested in. But it's also a very safe city as well, and with very low cost of living in comparison to other cities like London, which, like I said, are close by. Um, I say what I, when I talk about Norwich, I'm very biased because it's my home city, but we always find that students who come to UEA and come to the city of Norwich never want to leave, and they do really love their time here. As I said earlier, our UEA is a campus-based university, so all of our fantastic facilities are on the same site. So our accommodation, which is actually guaranteed in your first year at UEA, is dotted all over the campus. We have a very great sports facility on our campus as well, the sports park, which has indoor and outdoor sports for students to take part in, track and field, um, indoor gymnasiums, swimming pools, all that kind of stuff as well, and at really discounted prices for students. As well as that, we have our street with all our kind of basic amenities, so your shops, restaurants, cafes, bars, banks, all of those kind of stuff are right in the middle of our campus, as well as our really active student union. Um, so we have around just over 200 clubs and societies that students can join at UA, and it's really sociable and very vibrant university. As well as that, um, we have our live music venue, the LCR, and where we have around 60 plus gigs a year. We've had Ed Sheeran, The Killers, and Coldplay actually play on our campus before. So again, if you're interested in music, then it's a really great music scene in Norwich, but also on our campus as well. Um, one of our main facilities as well is the Sainsbury Centre for Visual Arts, which is an art gallery located on our campus, which is free to enter for students. Um, but you may recognise the Sainsbury Centre because it actually doubles up as the headquarters of the Avengers. So it's been used in numerous um, Avengers films before. Um, we've actually had, as you can see in the photo below here, we've had the Avengers filming on our campus, um, which is really cool. So it's quite a cool thing to say that you've maybe studied at a university, which is also the headquarters of the Avengers, and hopefully at some point in the future, Future, and maybe one of them will be returning. Not all three of them. Sorry if you've not seen the films or a spoiler alert there. Um, so a few kind of very basic facts regarding UEA in terms of entry requirements for students from the US. Um, so in terms of undergraduate students, we accept a wide variety of tests. So we set IBs, we look for the high school graduate diploma and AP exams, usually three to five. AP exams of a GPA of just over 3.3. And we are currently reviewing those requirements that may be slightly different next year because we're trying to make it more accessible for students who are interested in applying to study in the UK at UEA. All applications for um, our programmes or undergraduate programmes are made um, via UCAS as well. So our undergraduate degrees, um, they're three years in length. Um, the only reason they'd be longest is if you selected to do the placement year or year abroad option, 
that make it four years. And a lot of our programs offer that option. Also, if you did medicine or some health sciences, they will be slightly longer than the standard three years as well. And the common theme with our undergraduate programs is they're very flexible courses. So typically in the first year, you'd have a common first year where you'd study all of your key and core modules. As you move forward into second and third year, you'd then be able to tailor the degree to your own area of interest, really creating that extra flexible feel to your program. And they're also very cost effective. So typically our degrees range from around 17 to 21,000 pounds per year and per study. So it's a really cost effective uh, method. In terms of the teaching at UEA, um, you'd typically be looking at around 20 hours per week of contact time. So by contact time, that would be time of your lecturers in seminars, workshops, um, all those kind of stuff, group work, field trips, all that kind of stuff. And um, you would then do your own independent study to go alongside that as well. Um, at UEA, we're best known for our degrees in literature and creative writing, international development and environmental sciences. And there are flagship courses. We do have lots of other subject areas on offer for students as well. Just touch on a few little bits of information um, before I finish. So we have lots of scholarships for students from the US as well. And uh, last year we had guaranteed scholarships of between four and six thousand pounds per year of study. So all the fee quotes earlier would be a lot cheaper for students from the US. Um, and accommodation is, is very cheap at UEA as well. It ranges from around 80 to 160 pounds per week. So it's very cut cost effective to live at UEA um, on our campus. And currently at UEA, we're offering a blended learning approach. Um, so on campus at the moment, we do have students studying despite everything that's going on in the world right now. And um, they're kind of doing a mixture of virtual and in-person teaching currently at UEA. Um, so yeah, I think that's just about my time up. I um, hope I've not waffled too much, but thank you very much for listening. Please feel free to send me a message um, in, in the chat here or my email address is here if you did want to um, contact me later as well. But yeah, that's all for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just a reminder to send in any Q&A questions and now we'll be hearing from the University of Tennessee. All right. Hey guys, my name is Amanda Walk and I am a Regional Admissions Counselor for the University of Tennessee. So I'm based in Virginia and I just work with students from Virginia to kind of help you through the process. I'm gonna answer any questions that you may have. Um, so first I'll start off by telling you about our location. Um, we are located in Knoxville, Tennessee. That is one of my favorite things about our university is our location. Um, we are right in the middle of downtown, um, but our campus is very enclosed within the city. So it's not your traditional city campus where everything is all spread out. Everything is very centrally located um, on campus, not more than a 10 or 15 minute walk to get places. Um, but then you step off campus and you're right in the middle of downtown where there's always something fun going on, lots of great restaurants, as well as good opportunities for our students to do co-ops and internships since we are in a city. Another thing I love about our location is we are located right on the Tennessee River. That is our front yard and our backyard is the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, so if you like outdoorsy things, we have kayaking, paddle boarding right near campus and over a thousand miles of hiking trails in the eastern part of Tennessee where we are located. Um, we are also about um, eight hours or so from Northern Virginia, about six hours from Richmond. Um, so I think we're a good distance away from home for you. Um, you know, we're far enough away where you get a totally different experience, but we're still close enough where um, you can drive home if you want to. Um, we also have an airport about 15 minutes from campus. Um, so easy to fly back and forth if you want to. Um, we're also within a day's drive of half the United States population. Um, so lots of fun weekend road trips. We're about uh, two hours from Asheville, North Carolina, about two and a half hours from Nashville, um, and about three hours from Atlanta. The university as a whole has about 24,000 undergraduate students. I think it's a great size because you get all the perks of a big school, big division one athletics, lots of research opportunities. We are a tier one research institution, um, but it can still feel pretty small. We have a 17 to one student to faculty ratio and 71% of our classes have 50 students or less. Another perk of, perk of a large institution is that we have over 360 different programs of study. So lots of different things that you can major in. Um, we have nine academic colleges. We have our Herbert College of Agriculture, which is home to our vet school. We are one of 30 accredited vet schools in the United States. Um, our College of Architecture and Design has great programs in architecture, interior architecture, um, and graphic design. Arts and Sciences is our largest college. Um, lots of unique liberal arts majors, as well as our world-known forensics program um, and our pre-professional program. So like pre-med, pre-dentistry. Um, we also have pre-law and we have a law school on our campus. Um, our Haslam College of Business has a wide array of um, business majors. College of Communication and Information has majors like advertising, journalism, and public relations. Um, our College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences has teaching certification in everything but PE. Um, our Tickle College of Engineering has 
a ton of, um, of different engineering majors um, from aerospace to nuclear um, to the number one ranked metallurgical engineering program in the country. Um, our College of Nursing is a direct admit nursing program and then we have our College of Social Work which is our smallest college um, on campus. Um, for students that are from Virginia, we do participate in the academic common market. Um, that this is a program where if a major is not offered in your home state, you're able to go out of state for in-state tuition. Um, these are the eight majors that qualify Virginia students for in-state tuition. We don't limit the number of students that participate and you can start your freshman year. So this is a very affordable way of going um, out of state and paying in-state tuition. Supply chain management is definitely the most popular one for Virginia students. It is one of the top five programs in the nation. Nuclear engineering is also very popular. Um, we are located right down the road from Oak Ridge National Laboratory. So there are lots of great research opportunities for our students because that is the largest Department of Energy research facility in the country and also home to the um, second largest supercomputer in the world. Um, as far as your experience as a Tennessee student, you are required to live on campus your freshman year. So we do have a very residential campus. Um, we have 14 different residence halls as well as 14 living learning communities. So that's where you live with people that you share a common interest with. Typically it's gonna be around your major. Um, so like we have one for first year business students, first year engineering students, as well as our honors and scholars program. Um, students are required to have an unlimited meal plan, so you can go in and out of the dining hall as often as you want. Um, you can also have a car on campus your freshman year, um, and you get free laundry. We offer over 600 different clubs and organizations, so tons of things you can get involved in. Um, intramural and club sports are very popular. We have over 40 different club sports. Um, we are also Division I. We compete in the SEC, so athletic events are a very important part of our campus culture. You'll see uh, Nayland Stadium behind me. It is one of the top five largest football stadiums in the nation, so um, very exciting to be on campus for game days. We have lots of great traditions, um, and it's just a lot of fun with all the school spirit. Um, we also have Greek life on our campus. About 23% of students are in a sorority or fraternity. Student success is something we're very committed to at UT. Um, we have a wonderful center for career development as well as an academic success center, which has pretty much all the resources you need to be successful academically. Um, something that we're doing this year that we're really excited about is our Vol success teams. So that is a team that is assigned to you your freshman year and they are with you all four years. Um, a great way to make a larger campus feel a little bit smaller. Um, you're always gonna have a familiar face to go to. Um, your team is gonna be your academic advisor and academic coach as well as um, a one-stop counselor. And last year we had students in every continent up in Antarctica in over 50 different countries. So lots of great study abroad options as well. We are offering campus tours right now. So we would love for you to come visit. Um, we also have a great self-guided tour and there are a ton of opportunities for you to explore us virtually. Um, we have open houses, you can chat with students, you can sit in on classes um, or just take a virtual tour. So we would love to have you um, visit us virtually if you can't come see us in Knoxville. And then last, just a little bit about admissions. We do have an early action deadline of November the 2nd, so definitely encourage you all to get your applications in early. Um, if you're interested in honors and scholars or competitive scholarships, you do need to apply by November 2nd, and then you'll be notified in mid-December. Um, our regular deadline is gonna be December the 15th. Um, if you are interested in merit scholarships, you need to apply by that day, and then you'll be notified by mid-February. But this is my information. My name is Amanda Walk. Like I said, I'm a regional representative in Virginia, um, so please feel free to contact me if you need anything, or you're welcome to schedule one-on-one an appointment with me as well. So thank you for listening and learning more about UT. Thank you. Next we'll be hearing from University College Dublin. All right. Let me get my, my slides pulled up here. Um, well, hi everyone. My name is Kendall Hook. I'm with the University College Dublin. I'm actually located in Manhattan and I work with all of our US students from New Jersey down to Florida on the East Coast. So thank you guys for being here today. So you may just be starting to explore colleges and you may not have thought about going international, um, maybe until today. But why would you consider Ireland? Why would you go to Dublin? Um, well, I'm happy to say that it is everything that you have probably heard it to be from friends, family, the media, um, TV, movies. Um, it's an incredibly safe, friendly, and welcoming country. It's often ranked in, as the world's friendliest country, as well as in the top 10 to 12 world's safest countries, according to the Global Peace Index. Um, it is a very small country, but it is globally connected, um, multicultural society, and that's probably in part because of all of the headquarters that are located in, in Ireland. So all of the pharmaceutical companies, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Airbnb, it is a European headquarter capital. 
um, you do get the benefit of a cultural immersion without the language barrier. So you'll hear Gaelic and see Gaelic, uh, which is pretty cool, but all your academics will be in English and everyone there speaks English as well. It's incredibly beautiful. It's a small country, so you can get from the beach to the city, to the countryside, to the, to the rolling hills, um, all within hours of each other. Dublin itself is very easy to navigate. It's not overwhelming, but there is plenty to do. Um, over half of Ireland's population um, is, um, I'm sorry, half of Dublin's population is under the age of 34. So there's a very vibrant student life um, and it's ranked in the top 10 best student cities in the world. Um, it's easy to navigate and over half of Ireland's international students are located in Dublin. Um, but most importantly, when you go to Ireland, your degree is going to mean something when you come back here because all of our institutions are ranked in the top one to two percent worldwide. UCD, we are one of Ireland's oldest institutions. Uh, we are ranked number one university in Ireland and in the top 200 universities in the world. Uh, we are the largest and most international, so we have about 30,000 students on campus, 17,000 of them our undergraduate level. Uh, we have over 70 academic programs, A to Z, architecture to zoology, um, and we are the largest urban campus in Europe. So we have a lot of amenities that you're typically used to finding on US campuses. So we have, for example, libraries for different academic subjects. We have um, academic support services for students. So tutoring, writing center, learning different um, support services, as well as um, physical support services and career services. Um, so a lot of the student support services that you're used to here on the US, you will find at UCD as well. And um, we have over 160 clubs and organizations, you know, whether you wanna drink tea, you know, you really love Harry Potter, or you wanna try your hand at, um, at soccer, we have a student group for everyone. Uh, so you're definitely able to find your place at UCD. We have about 3,000 students that live on campus, about 50% international, 50% Irish. A uh, big difference is that you will have your own single bedroom, so you have that privacy, and it feels more like an apartment on campus. So you share common facilities with about three to four other students, um, but you, you have um, your own bedroom, your own wardrobe, and your own desk and that privacy um, set up for you. So as I mentioned, we have about 30,000 students on campus, 7,000 of them are international. So as a point of com comparison, US institutions typically have about 10% or fewer international students and UCD has about uh, nearly 30% international. About 40% of our faculty are international as well, which I think really speaks to um, the global perspective and the importance that UCD places on bringing those global perspectives to campus. As I mentioned earlier, we have 70 undergrad degree programs that range between three to four years. Um, you can see here the colleges that um, that we have and the programs that we have. Um, and I would say the big difference is we don't have general education requirements like you would in the US. So if you wanna go into English Lit, you'll never have to take another math again. And if you want to go into the STEM fields, you never have to take another English class again. I would say um, a big difference with um, UCD is you typically apply directly into the program that you wanna study. So you apply directly to English Lit or philosophy or biology, et cetera. Um, however, if you are under, undecided, we do have a specific program here at the bottom called the Liberal Arts and Sciences that allows you a year of flexibility to choose what you wanna major in. I would recommend applying via the Common App. It's super easy. Um, we are listed there and you can apply to up to four programs. Um, we do focus primarily on the academics and we will have some flexibility based on your individual testing scores. Um, I'm sorry, individual testing situation. Our applications have already opened um, and we do have rolling admissions until July 1st. About 80% of our students do receive some sort of scholarship as well. And the scholarships are just for international students that range between uh, 10 to 100% tuition. We also accept US federal aid and VA benefits. Um, all in all, the cost for UCD ranges between 38 to 40,000 per year, including cost of living, which makes us a little more expensive than staying in state for school, but a more affordable option than possibly going out of state or to a private institution here in the US.
Here's a snapshot of our incoming first year students. Um, you can see the incoming class averages below for a general idea and what, um, what they typically study and what states they come from. So if you'd like to stay in touch, here is my email and I appreciate you guys coming um, and giving me your time today. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Eastern Mennonite University. All right. Get started here today. Uh, my name is Hannah Cash, and I just want to thank you for joining us today. Um, I graduated from Eastern Mennonite University with a major in psychology and a minor in art in 2018. I look forward to telling you a little bit about my alma mater here. Uh, EMU is located in Harrisonburg, Virginia, which is a vibrant college town in the heart of the Shenandoah Valley. We're conveniently two hours away from major cities like DC and Richmond. And because we're in the Shenandoah Valley, this provides the opportunity for endless adventures and outdoor beauty that our students love exploring on the weekends. We have a student body of approximately 1,000 undergraduate students, and you can see our averages in the upper left-hand corner, and as of this year, we are officially test optional. Pictured here are our brand new science center facilities, including anatomy and physiology labs that hold cadavers, chem labs, engineering labs, and a large classroom used for expert lectures. Of course, one of the most important reasons to attend college is to develop skills that will prepare you for a rewarding career. Here you'll see a comprehensive list of our major offerings, along with career concentrations and graduate programs as well. Keep in mind that some careers do require a graduate degree that EMU may prepare you for, even if you don't see that specific major listed. We're excited to share that 98% of our job seeking graduates are employed within one year of graduation and the numbers speak for themselves. Our graduates are accepted in a medical school, pass the CPA, and are hired by schools and hospitals at rates well above the national averages. The main reason for our alumni success is because of our small intentional class sizes that allow professors to provide close mentorships to students. Another reason for our alumni success is our intentional experiences outside of the classroom. Many of our students learn through various internship opportunities. For example, our education majors begin their classroom experience within their first month on campus, and our nursing students complete hands-on clinical experience in a wide variety of healthcare settings. Another internship opportunity we love to highlight is our Washington Community Scholar Center, where students have the opportunity to complete valuable full-time internships for up to a full semester in DC. And an internship in DC it also fulfills EMU's cross-cultural requirement. EMU's unique cross-cultural program is a major component of the core curriculum that provides students with the opportunity to gain experience through travel and internships. And if you are interested in traveling abroad, you are guaranteed a trip, and EMU students can choose from a wide range of locations all over the world. Another reason to attend EMU is to build relationships and create memories that will last a lifetime. Students enjoy regular weekly and annual events on campus, like our International Food Festival every fall, and Tuesday trivia every week where students can win up to $200 gift cards um, for as, as a prize. There are also a wide variety of ways to stay active in, on campus and participate in recreational activities. Favorite being the fall, the climbing wall, um, which is open in our gymnasium. We also have a fitness center, which is of course free for students to use. Clubs and organizations are also a very important part of life on campus. There are 30 set out on this list, and as there's a streamlined process for any student interested in starting a new club. So if you don't see one on this list that you're interested in, pardon me, I have dogs, um, you can easily start a new club. We also offer a number of student services. Uh, one that I really like to highlight is our Academic Success Center that offers free peer tutoring to all EMU students. At EMU, we believe that the world needs more people who know how to work together well and that we're a perfect place for students to become unifying leaders. We are Christian University affiliated with the Mennonite Church USA, whose vision and values lie in Christian discipleship, community, service, and peace. One example of these values is Nobel Peace Prize winning alumnus, Lima Bowie. While of course not all of our students will go on to win the Nobel Peace Prize, all EMU students do go on to lead together on our diverse campus. And as the saying goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. As you can see, we have a number of men's and women's sports teams. EMU is a part of the NCAA Division III ODAC conference. If you are an athlete that would like to begin the recruiting process, you can fill out the recruiting form that you'll see on the bottom of this page, emuroyals.com recruits. 
Um, even if you aren't an athlete, the fan experience is just as great. EMU students get into every game for free, and you might even win a free t-shirt during Rowdy Royals athletic events. And at EMU, we're committed to making us affordable for you and your family. 99% of our students receive financial aid. This past year, our average assistance package was over $37,000 and we awarded more than $17 million in financial aid. So hopefully you're wondering about your next steps. Uh, we of course encourage you to apply. You can also schedule a time to visit um, on in person or online this semester. In addition, once you've completed your free application, all we need is your high school transcript and any other items you choose to submit to review your application. You can also begin filling out the FAFSA as of October 1st. So that was just two weeks ago now. Um, once we receive that, we can get a financial aid package, review it with your admissions counselor, and hopefully become a royal. And here is my contact information and my colleague who's also on this call. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can give me a call or text at that number. Thank you. Just a reminder to send in any of your Q&A questions, and now we'll be hearing from Norfolk State University. Okay, let me share my screen with you guys, and let's get started. Okay, well, greetings and behold. Welcome to the presentation of the Norfolk State University. My name is Mr. Ridley, one of your amazing senior admissions counselors, as well as your wonderful campus tour guide of the day. So buckle down, hold on to your seats, and behold the green and gold as we take this journey through Sparta, where your main goal is to graduate. I always tell my students your main goal should be to graduate at the top of your class, okay? And we are home of the Spartans. Yes, it is. Okay, so we are a Division I school and home to the third largest football stadium in Virginia. Our football stadium holds over 30,000 people. Okay, and once again, we are a Division I school, so we have all major athletic programs ranging from men and women's um, basketball, football, volleyball, um, all track and field games. We got you covered. Um, here at our university, everything is changing. The whole heart of our campus, as seen behind me, is getting new life. Um, we have a plethora of new buildings. So if you're looking at the stream on the left side, we have a brand new $4.2 million nursing and general education building. Top of the screen, we have a brand new state-of-the-art, three-story, solar, and eco-friendly library. And located on the right side is our newest academic building, which is the newest Brown Hall. It used to be our first and oldest building, but now it's our newest facility. It is home to drama and theater. Um, social work, we were all ranked amongst the top 10 social work programs in the entire country. Uh, we have psychology, mass communications, um, the list goes on. But here's our mission statement. Here at Norfolk State University, we are a comprehensive urban public institution that is committed to transforming students' lives through exemplary teaching, research, and service, while offering a supportive academic and culturally diverse environment for all. The university empowers its students to turn their aspirations into reality and achieve their full potential as well-rounded, resourceful citizens and leaders for the 21st century. I like to call them ideal Spartans. Here's a brief um, enrollment snapshot. We have a little over 5,000 students here at Norfolk State University, so we're not too big, not too small. We're right there in the middle. Uh, we have mostly in-state students, but we have well over 1,300 out-of-state students as well. We have 31 undergraduate majors as well as 18 master and doctorate programs. We have well over 100 club organizations as well as an 18 to 1 student teacher ratio on our 134 acre campus. Um, if you have never heard of Norfolk State University, you may ask, where in the world is Norfolk? Well, Norfolk is located in the core of Hampton Roads, okay? Um, but we're just located 15 minutes away from the beach. You would like to put your feet in the sand. By Virginia's Golden Shores, there's a place that we adore. Every Spartan knows that sand. We're just two stops away from downtown, so we have a light rail that runs behind our campus. So if you want to hop on the light rail to take you right downtown, if you want to go to the mall, do a little bit of shopping, or maybe even grab a quick bite to eat. So we are located in the city. So you can see right here, this is Norfolk State University. And this is downtown. So you have downtown Waterside, um, pre-COVID, where it's always a lot of great events going down, and it's always a great place to grab a quick bite to eat. 
Okay. Um, some fun facts about Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk is home to the world's largest naval base in the entire world, as well as we are home to the North American headquarters for NATO. Uh, USA Today called Norfolk one of the top 10 booming downtowns, as well as we are home to Eastern Virginia Medical School, which is a top 100 medical school in which we, uh, through our bio pre-med program, we have a partnership with. Um, let's quickly go into the history of Norfolk State University. Norfolk State was founded in 1935 during the midst of the Great Depression, where we only had about 85 students. And many students saw education as a way to increase their employment opportunities during the Great Depression. Uh, we are currently led by Dr. J, in which we call her, but for today's purposes, her name is uh, our seventh president, Dr. Javon Adams Gastons. Uh, here at Norfolk State University, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Um, a lot of people always ask, what makes Norfolk State University different from other universities, where we like to foster a supportive environment for all members of our Spartan community? And what do I mean by that? We like to offer a lot of services for our students to make sure that you are excelling. Um, so just to go through a few, we have career services that help prepare you with mock, mock interviews, resume writing, um, if you need to know how to tie your tie, if you need to know how to get dressed for a job interview, we got you covered. We have computer labs located in every single building on our campus. If you have any learning challenges, we have our office of Oasis, um, our student success center to help you with academic advising, as well as we have study rooms in every building on our campus in every residential hall. And we offer free tutoring and free mentoring, as well as big brother and big sister programs. And we just built a writing center on our campus. So if you need help writing your papers, we got you covered. So my question for you today is, will you um, be whole? Our application portal is now open. How do you apply? Well, if you're tuning in right now, you're on your computer, if you pull out your phone and go to your phone's camera, you can hold it over this QR code right here and it will pull up the application right there on your phone. We are totally virtual and digital, so you can actually upload your transcript and test scores directly to your application as well, okay? Um, so what are the requirements? Here at Norfolk State University, we're looking for an average GPA of a 3.1, uh, but no worries, if you do not have that 3.1, please feel free to still apply. We are evaluating every application holistically. We'll be looking at your core classes and evaluating you on that basis. This year, Norfolk State has gone test optional, um, so that way you will not need any SAT or ACT scores as well. So please feel free to apply. Also, financial aid, our financial aid portal has opened, and so basically the FAFSA is ready. So quickly go over the cost of everything while I wrap up. In-state is a little over 20000 Out-of-state is a little over thirty-two. dollars uh, We have a plethora of different majors to choose from. Um, computer science is one of our top majors, um, drama and theater, nursing, optical engineering, physics. Um, but here's our top snapshot, nursing, computer science, social work, mass communications, and psychology. Um, I'm going to pull my contact information up on the screen for you guys. So if you're interested in computer science, we just received a $30 million grant in regards to cybersecurity research. And we have just brought on a brand new cyber psychology program. We're here at Norfolk State University. We are the only university that offers a master's in cybersecurity. So stay connected to us. And here's my contact. And that's my time. Thank you. Lastly, we'll be hearing from SUNY Cortland. Mr. Ridley, before I share my screen, I need to know what coffee you drink or what vitamins you're taking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on. All right, it always takes so much longer. Feels like an eternity. All right, you guys, good evening. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Shannon Wing. I work for SUNY Cortland. If you guys aren't familiar with SUNY, it stands for State University of New York. We are the largest public university system that the nation has. I'm a regional recruiter, so I work with every student in the Mid-Atlantic, in the Southeast, in the Midwest. I also am going to review every application that comes from Virginia. So if you guys are interested and you have any questions, I would be the person that you would be working with. We are in upstate New York. We're about 30 minutes south of Syracuse, right off of the highway, and about 40 minutes north of SUNY Binghamton. We're centrally located, so we are very close to Ithaca, where you have Ithaca College and Cornell. 
Ithaca College is going to be our biggest rival for athletics. We are an NCAA Division III program, and we do rank within the top 25 of the Director's Cup every single year. I think there's over 400 D3 schools in the nation. Uh, we're a very safe campus. We're suburban, so the next largest city is probably going to be Syracuse, where you're going to have the airport, you're going to have um, the train station, shopping at Destiny USA. Um, we're very safe. We have an actual university police department on campus. We did get a number one ranking for campus safety this past year for New York State. And we do have students from 34 states and 47 countries. So part of our diversity mission is geographic on campus. And that's where my position comes in. So we are really looking for students that are not from New York State. So we can give the students in New York State a more um, more diverse experience. So we are just under 7,000 total students. We have about 6,400 undergraduates. We have about 1,200 solid undergrad students that say Cortland is where they want their home to be for the next four years every August. This year we had about 1,400. So as far as admissions is concerned, we get about 13,000 applications for undergraduate admissions and we accept a little less than half of those students that actually apply. And of those students, the, the 1,200 is who actually enroll. The average class size is going to be about 23 students. So every class is taught by an actual professor on campus. We do have teaching assistants. Sometimes those are students who do really well in a particular class. They could be ed majors. We do have the largest education program in the state as far as everything that we offer. But it's important to note that although teaching assistants help, they hold review classes, every course is taught by an actual professor. And because we are very close to Ithaca, we do have a lot of our faculty that also teach at Cornell. And you're going to find that your average, um, like I said, the average class size is about 23 students, but you will have anywhere from one to three lecture classes the whole time you're a student at Cortland. These are the programs that we offer. We have over 65 majors. All of the education majors are to the right. The other popular ones are sport management, anything within kinesiology, so exercise science. We have um, a track for athletic training or the sports medicine. We have great pre-med, pre-vet, pre-dental. Um, business economics is also really big as well as criminology. So that's gonna be criminal justice paired with some psychology. Um, but again, you can find all of these on the website, you guys. As far as admissions is concerned, we are looking for four years of English and history and then three to four years of math, science, and foreign language. But because you all are not New York State students, we are very flexible on this. We found that a lot of students outside of New York State maybe only have two years of a foreign language or only two years of science when the lab is required. So whatever your requirement is for graduation for your high school, that is what we will go by. So don't stress if you don't meet these things. We also are test optional this year. So we're test optional for admission and we're test optional for merit scholarships. So every student will only need to apply via the Common App or the SUNY application. You guys would probably use the Common App and we're just gonna need your transcript and a recommendation. Residence, life, and housing. So we do have 17 different residence halls on campus. We've got low rise, high rise, suite style, quad style, apartment style. Uh, the residence halls are in the center part of campus. We have upper campus, middle campus, and lower campus. Most of them are gonna be in that middle campus area. We do have a bus system that runs through campus if you don't feel like walking. Um, you have to live on campus your first two years as an incoming freshman student. And then after that, you can live off campus if you want because you would be non-New York State residents. If you wanted to continue to live on campus junior, senior year, you can do that. And we'll give you an additional $2,000 automatically off of your residence life and housing. And that's for students who are not New York State residents. This is our Student Life Center. We have about 2,500 uh, students, faculty, and staff that visit this every day when we are not in the middle of a pandemic. We've got a separate workout facility for students who are varsity athletes. In here, we've got a suspended jogging track. We have an all-you-could-eat dining facility, obviously a pool, hot tub, volleyball court. We've got uh, basketball courts, gaming rooms. We've got a spin room. We have a rock climbing wall, a golf simulator. This is just really home to everybody and anyone who's into any sort of recreation. We have 10 dining facilities on campus. Two of those are all you care to eat. So it's an unlimited meal plan and that's for anybody that wants it. You can swipe in as many times a day as you want. You can eat as much as you want. You just can't take anything out with you. And then we've got a food truck, which is new this year. And then we also have eight other, uh, seven other facilities that are kind of grab and go. We've got uh, very much Starbucks feel. We've got two Dunkins in town. We also have a Starbucks and on campus, we actually serve Finger Lakes coffee. 
This is what your expenses are going to look like. We give an automatic award to any student that is not a New York State resident. So automatically right off the bat, you're going to get $7,500 off of your tuition every year automatically. And then the total build cost at the bottom includes all of the, the build costs to the left and then some additional expenses to the right. We just want to make sure that everybody knows, you know, what they're going to be in for. Yes, you know you're coming to college to live there and to take classes, but you're also going to need some toiletries and maybe you need to get home. So that's going to be the total cost for an entire year with the Future New Yorker Award for any student that's a non-New York State resident. Again, this is my information. Um, I'm more than happy to work with you. I thank you so much for your time tonight and have a great rest of your week. Thank you. So thank you all for joining us. It looks like we have a little bit of extra time. So if you have any Q&A questions, please submit those now. Um, and I'm just gonna invite all of the reps to come back on and just take maybe 30 seconds and share their favorite event that takes place on their campus. We can go in order, um, the same as the presentations. So I think the favorite event of mine at UEA is Pimp My Barrow, um, which is an event, it's a charity event that we run at UEA where students have a wheelbarrow, which they pimp up um, and they do kind of fancy dress costumes and they all kind of get together in a team and they do a bar crawl on all the pubs in Norwich. They go from one pub to the next pub with their wheelbarrow um, in their costumes, raising money for charity. And um, it's a really colorful event. Students from all around the campus get involved and it's a really great event, not just in UEA, but also in the city of Norwich as well. So that's probably my favorite event at UEA. So mine isn't necessarily an event that only happens one time, um, but one thing that's kind of unique that we do at UT because of our location on the river is for football games, we sailgate instead of tailgate. Um, so a lot of our fans will bring their boats to games. They call themselves the Vol Navy, um, and they have these really kind of decked out boats that they um, sailgate on um, and then go into the stadium. So kind of another perk of our location is our ability to sailgate. Yeah, um, I would probably say that uh, one of my favorite events on campus would be the colors match between UCD and uh, Trinity College Dublin, which is right down the road. Uh, so it's a friendly rivalry, rivalry between the two um, and sports looks a little different in Ireland. Uh, you don't necessarily have American football, but you have camogie and hurling. And um, in this case, the colors match is rowing. So uh, that's always a, a good time um, between the two schools. Uh, my favorite on-campus event is definitely the International Food Festival that I mentioned earlier. Um, we have a very diverse campus um, and so there are a lot of different food backgrounds and so students have the opportunity to sign up and they can um, make whatever dish that they'd like and then there's a prize at the end like all the students vote on their favorite food um, and you win like hundred dollar gift cards which who doesn't love free money in college combined with free food so it's a really fantastic event. Um, everybody comes out in the quad and it's just a good time to eat and have community. One exciting moment at Norfolk State University that I always love is our homecoming parade. It's always an amazing time. We are home to the 2019 uh, HBCU Band of the Year. So they have a big session where they go through the community and everyone comes out. So it's always an exciting time on our campus. Okay, so at SUNY Portland, our favorite event is probably the Cortica Jug. So because Ithaca College is our biggest rival for athletics, we have what we call the Cortica Jug. So it's Cortland versus Ithaca every year. And because Cortland had a partnership with the New York Jets, um, we were able to host the Cortica Jug last fall at MetLife Stadium and we had over 45,000 people in attendance. So ESPN usually refers to it as the biggest little game in the nation. Awesome. Thank you all for sharing. Just put this back up. Um, Shannon, you have a Q&A question directed at you in the box too, so don't forget that. Um, thank you everyone. Uh, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Um, also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to check out the full sign up and sign up for additional sessions at strivescan.com slash Virginia. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at that same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. Um,
So thank you all. Bye now.